Hello people, this is Itara Oda, and I am bringing you a small Eon tutorial. Just a small one, no, nothing big, nothing fancy, but Eon, I feel, is severely, if not probably one of the highest damaging, easiest characters to use, but one of the hardest to apply due to the fact that his move pool is really less than stellar. Now. One of the simple tactics that you can use with Eon is his 66A, which is, as you can see, forward forward X, in case the in case you don't know the numbers, or uh, toward toward square if you're on PS3. Now, the beauty of his 66A is it's one of his quickest moves, as well as the fact that if you will end up catching people on backstep, sidestep, and everything else, the only way for them to get out of this move is simply to block or to actually be able to duck it. And there's very few moves that can actually not only beat it out, but also make it to where it's unsafe. So it is a solid performance for Eon to lead off, break ground, as well as start off with it. Now, his 8BK, his 8BK, whoop, that was a drop kick. take that period, bitch. All right, his 8BK, has many purposes. For one, it will make sure that any low, if you have a low spamming that likes to poke your feet and everything else, get the proper distance and you can just hop right over it and not only that, but punish them a, quite, a great deal. Now this has three properties to it. Yes, three. If you... Hang on, let me get the distance here. If you actually are able to just barely tap them, you can go into 4-4-B four, four, and then AA. Here, I'll do it one more time. Four, four, four B, A, A. After that, and you will catch them every time, especially if it's on counter. Now, another thing you can do is if you do that, oh, if you actually catch them, stay crouched. You can do that for a quick, uh, for just a quick, quick little hit, as well as he stays in the crouch. Damn it, I did it again. He stays in a crouch and his rising will do more, slightly more damage. I believe it was four extra points there. Now, the beaut now this combo is very situational. I would not recommend this, but what it is is, yo, you whiff, that's what it is. No, uh, you, it's, a, it's his rising B. Now, if you can time this properly, it's a very weird combo. I have yet to be able to really pull it off myself because it's so unreliable. But what it is, is you pop him up, and you don't do the drop kick. You pop him up, wait, and you will able to actually be able to fly them backwards into 4-4-B four, into four, four again. And yes, 4-4-B four, four AA is actually one of his primary combo extenders and enders. Now, Eon has a small wall game. It's very finicky. Now... I, of course, there's no walls here, so I can't show you. But I will show you, and I will show you in part two. Now, when using Eon, it is important to realize that he is a very pokey and strong wood character. He has very little to no combo ability, which makes him one of the hardest characters to use because there's no primary or real extenders. However, he is very Kemi trap heavy. I have, but also he, but also his primary combo whiffs a great deal. So unless you can actually pull it off fully, don't ever complete this combo because people will always end up uh, ducking the third, the third one, which is a break attack, and it leaves you wide open for massive damage. Now, here is a small just guard combo that is guaranteed most of the time. And I'll explain it once it happens. Whoops! Okay, fail. And there you go. Massive amounts of damage. Now, what this is, is it is his 1B... Oh! It is his 1B Brave Edge into 3BK Unblockable. Now, this move is only applicable if they do not ukemi. I have, it's very, it's, you have to take a little bit of caution because you can either 
chance it for big damage, or you can just go for the guaranteed 86, you know, 86 to 90 with, you know, his primary combo. Now, here's an interesting thing. If you do 7k into 4, into 6-6-B, it will always combo. The only problem is actually pulling off the freaking 7k. It will, if it hits on counter, it is guaranteed they cannot ukemi out of it. Now, here's an interesting thing. If they simply lay there, or if they try to ukemi back, their reward is a fireball to the face, and it continues. It is all not guaranteed again. However, it is very Eon is very situational. Now, I do not know how to per se put them on. You know what? Let's try this. There we go. I was not sure how to put them into a counter state, but that worked actually pretty well. That was his. That was his four B into four four. Uh, 44k, and I screwed it up. It's really difficult. Boom, and then into that. That is one of his many counters that he can do. Now he also has, as you can see, 88ak. I mean ab, yeah. which also ends in the same crumple state, which can lead to that, which can lead to the, another barrel roll or lizard roll or eon roll, whatever tickles your fancy. Now another thing that you can do, as well as that is this. That was his, that was his, uh, 4B into, uh, 6B Break Edge. Now, the distance judged by the 6B Break Edge is actually, it changes quite a bit, to be honest with you. However, oh, whoops. However, one thing that you can honestly do with it is, after you pull it off, if you can get the proper distance, if you can judge it just right, you can actually, as they land, swipe them up one more time. Let's try this one more time. See what I mean? It's very judgmental. You have to be able to get it just right. But if you can land it, there's your reward. Yes, it costs a full meter, a full bar meter, but if you can pull it off, it's worth it. Just like everything else in this game. Now, here is a meter, here's a full bar and a half of just a full combo, and it actually does, and it can actually get you out of some situations. If you wish to use Eon's CE, that would probably be the best way to do it, because, quite frankly, I think this damage is kind of pathetic for a C. So, but the good news is, though, it has a decent startup time, so you can catch people out of the blue, but I wouldn't rely on it. Now, little, just little odds and ends here. That little four hit, etc., etc., is always a bread and butter for no matter what character. But it's more applicable for Eon because of the because of uh, the quickness his rising his rising A B is. And if they're not expecting it, you can actually get a grab off right as they rise back up. Well, for right now, this is the end of the Eon basic bread and butter tutorial. I will show you wall combos in just a moment.